As Minnesotans become eligible for their first booster shots, conversations are already happening about a second booster as early as this spring. We wanted to know how long does booster shot protection last and will it be a better protection against new variants? Jeff Wagner spoke with a top doctor to learn how many times we might need to roll up our sleeves. Amidst the hustle across MSP Airport's Terminal 2 is a daily effort to better protect people from an unrelenting virus. Do you have any idea how long the booster protection lasts? I'd say probably a few months. I hope it lasts a three, a three months or more. I think we are just playing this day by day like everyone else. The question is, how long will that protection last when we're not sure? Dr. Michael Osterholm is the infectious disease director at the University of Minnesota. And so that at this point, uh, you know, we'll continue to do studies monitoring people to see when both their antibody levels drop, but also more importantly in the community, when do we see potential breakthrough infections occurring? What have we learned in the past year about the level of protection someone gets from those first two doses, uh, especially now that we're amidst Omicron? Well, those first two doses are actually very important, beginning the building process in your immune system, but they're hardly adequate. That's where the booster shot, or the third dose immunocompromised people received in the fall, comes into play. Because it then takes the immune system status to a whole new level. But what about an additional level on top of that? Moderna's CEO said last week that they're working on a second booster shot that would be available in the coming months. How would you feel if that was starting to be offered by the fall, another booster shot? Absolutely no problem. If it's necessary, that's what we need to do. Dr. Osterholm doesn't think a second booster will be recommended for everyone. He says the focus now is on maximizing protection by creating better vaccines. The first route, modifying the current vaccine to be based on the Omicron variant and not the original strain. He says that could be available in the spring. The second, creating a new vaccine that helps our immune system fight different strains of COVID as they emerge. That method is still being researched. How do you feel about how this pace is continuing on? Well, you know, when 1,500 people a day are dying, when our healthcare systems are literally breaking, no longer just bending, nothing can be fast enough, nothing. Jeff Wagner, WCCO 4 News.